I really appreciate you joining me today and these are some updates coming from London. The first story broke yesterday at 5 past 3 in the afternoon on the 11th of December. Police were called to reports of a male with a firearm entering a bank and a bookmakers in the vicinity of Marlowe's Road, West 8. The police report says that the man was seen getting into a vehicle and leaving the area and at 20 past 3 armed officers stopped the vehicle at the junction of Kensington Road and Palace Gate. And shots were fired and the man sustained gunshot wounds. The London ambulance and the air ambulance were called and the man was treated at the scene. But despite their best efforts, he was pronounced dead at 10 past 4. Efforts are underway to confirm the man's identity and to inform his next of kin. The Met's Directorate of Professional Standards has been informed and the incident has been referred to the Independent Office of Police Conduct. The scene shows a road closure in the local area and they say that it's likely to remain like that until the end of the day. The public were advised to avoid the area but they're not treating the incident as terrorism. Thank you to Southwest News Pictures for allowing me to use the footage and coverage from the scene. It shows a large armed police presence as well in the middle of Kensington and this is not far from where Prince William lives in Kensington Palace and also a few metres away from Billionaires Row where a lot of celebrities live and I recently covered a story on Billionaires Row which was one of the biggest robberies that ever occurred in the UK. The only other information that has emerged since this story broke is that a non-police firearm was recovered from the scene and eyewitnesses said that the man was shot three times when he was dragged out of a taxi and arrested on Kensington Road. So this is a breaking news story and I'll definitely follow this up in the future and don't forget you can get updates as well on the website and my other social media channels. In some other news coming from South London, a body has been found in a Camberwell Park This is following an ongoing search for a missing nurse from the local area. Police have been appealing throughout the week for missing Petra Srenkova. She's 32 years old and she's from the Camberwell area and works at Evelina London Children's Hospital. This is next to St Thomas's Hospital in SE1 and she was reported missing on Friday the 3rd of December by a concerned colleague. Petra is believed to have left the hospital at quarter to eight on Sunday the 28th of November and she is thought to have been wearing a green coat and carrying a red backpack at the time. It is believed she withdrew money from her cash point before getting onto a bus towards Elephant and Castle. She is thought to have changed to a new bus route towards her home address in Camberwell where she was last seen at 20 past eight. Police have contacted her family in the Czech Republic and they have not heard from her and officers are growing increasingly concerned for her welfare and also asking for anyone that has seen her to get in touch. They said that this was out of character for Petra, and this was definitely not her usual behaviour. And the latest update is that at approximately 20 to 12 on Sunday the 12th of December, police were called by a member of the public to reports of a body of a woman found in Brunswick Park. Officers remain at the scene at this current time, and at this early stage the woman's death is being treated as unexplained. Formal identification awaits, but Petra's family have been informed of the latest development. Somebody has lost a loved one in this case, and of course Petra's family are hoping that it isn't her, but the probability of it being her is increasing every single hour. In some news that I've been able to add to this to give more context, a South London pastor called Lorraine Jones has spoken online about the fact that children from her local area were the ones that discovered the body inside the park. She gave an emotional speech on Twitter to explain the effects that this must have on the children and also highlighted the dangers that are posed to women in the local area due to things like poor lighting in her local area too. She calls regarding the dead body that was found in our one of our local parks in South London, Camberwell. I've been so busy today with team meetings. I've just seen the article. In fact, I was alerted by it. I'm horrified. It said that some children found the body as they were playing. How how can you prepare a child or a young person to stumble upon a dead body? How they must react or how is this is what we're living in? Is this the time we're living in now? Hmm? Children are playing in their local park, a safe place, outdoors. They need that green space and they're stumbling on a dead body. We all need to step up. 
this is the seriousness of what is happening in our communities. The police are working tirelessly, but it's not all down to them. You know what I'm going to do now? The lighting on Belinda Road. Belinda Road is where are my boxing gym is. The lighting is extremely poor. Parents, women, young people are complaining that it's very dark and it's frightening. It's winter. I've raised the concern. We need the lighting to be fixed. We need more light in there because I don't want anything to happen. We've already had a homicide on that road. I thought it was going to destroy the attendance of Dwaynamics. But thank God to the police coming, working with us. So that must have been horrific for the children to have found the body of the woman. And I'll definitely keep you updated on anything to do with that story. So that was just a brief update from around London and there's plenty more news to come tomorrow. Please don't forget to follow me online as well at Scar City Studios on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok and Facebook and ScarCityStudios.com for the latest updates. My condolences to the family of the female that has been found in the park and I'll definitely be back very shortly with some more news. Peace. This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour.